Okay, uh, so uh, in today's, today's lesson, we're simply going to look at using the key down event to move the ball. And we're also going to use the get pressed uh, method to move the ball. So these are two methods that we can actually use in my game to move the ball. Uh, but I want to show you the difference, okay? So there's a slight difference between these two methods. Now, when you use the key down event, you'll simply uh, see what happens when you press the key. Uh, the movement is not going to be continuous. So you have to let the key go and then press it again so that you move it through the second time. All right, but with the get pressed event, you can just simply pre press the key and the movement is going to be continuous. Okay, so that's the difference and I'll see how you guys can do it. Yeah. Right, so let me just try and run the script one more time so that you guys can see where we left All right so in our last video we actually did this uh, among the surface we actually uh, put uh, text on our surface so for today we want to just move this ball with our keys uh, so how are we going to achieve that so the first way we can actually do is to check for if whether we have pressed our key so we can use if event uh, dot type is equal to pi game dot key down uppercase like that and then um, and then let's uh, after you have the key down you're checking for whether there's a key that has been pressed the next thing you want to do is to check for which key has been pressed so if uh, event dot key is equal to pi game dot k uppercase k underscore all right so we want to check if whether the key is w and then what do we want to do uh, we want this uh, ball rect ball rect has got the value x and y value so okay so we want to move it up and down so we deal with the y value so we want the basket rect dot y value or y coordinate minus equals minus equals to 10 okay that's what that's what we want to happen we want this y value to increase or to be reduced by 10 each time we press the w okay so save this run this as you guys can see each time i press w it's moving 10 pixels okay so the disadvantage with this method is if i continuously press w nothing happens okay it just moves the first time i press it it just moves 10 pixels up and then and then that's it it stops okay so i cannot move it continuously if i want to move it continuously i have to keep on pressing w w w like that All right which might not be efficient for some of you guys you might want something that is smooth and so it, it takes us to our second method second way of you know of, do, of dealing with key down events Okay, so in this one we have to create a variable uh, called pressed. Let me call it pressed. All right, so what do we have to do? Pi game dot key dot get pressed. There's a method in the key module, all right, which is called get pressed. It helps us to check whether we have pressed the certain key or not. And then, uh, so if we can actually check whether we have pressed the certain key or not, we can then assign a responsibility to that key. So how do we assign that responsibility? We use the if statement. If pressed, since we're getting, uh, what we get from this uh, from this line over here, line 61, is actually a tuple, okay? So a tuple of keys. It's, it's, it's either it gives you zeros or ones. So uh, when you are not pressing any keys, it just gives you back zeros, a list of zeros. That means it's, it's false, N no keys pressed. But actually when you press it, you get a one, so it's either it's either zero or one. So that's that's a boolean value, right? True or false. True is one, and false is zero, right? So, so we can actually access those keys using the indexing. You know, uh, since this is a tuple, right? So what are we looking for? We're looking for pi game dot k underscore. Which key do we want? We want to use s, okay? Mm. So what do we want to do? Uh, we want basket right. 
just like we did uh, with the key down event uh, dot y we want it to be plus equals to 10 all right we want it to do the opposite of what the w key is doing all right so control save control b um, as I move on to here, if I press if I press W, it's moving one bit, one bit. But if I press if I press S, like this, as you guys can see, just once, it's just moving boom. Okay, so th that's the difference between using uh, the key down and the get pressed method. All right, so as you guys can see, I hope you guys have an idea of what I'm doing here and what happens. Okay, this is the result. Each time I press S. Right, as you guys can see, it's just moving boom. The longer I, pr I press S, it continuously moves. Okay, so if I wanted to move continuously, I'll just keep on pressing and then it disappears. But with the W, it's different. I cannot keep on pressing W and this ball moves. It won't move. It only moves when you press it once and then that's it. Even if you continuously press the key, it's not going to move. All right, so that's the difference between these two methods. Over here, you might say, "Oh, what's the difference between this uh, Pygame dot key down and this get pressed method?" That's the difference between these two uh, methods, All right? But they have the same effect; they give you the same result, almost the same result, which is kind of different. All right, so I hope you guys understood. I hope to see you in our next video. All right, thank you. Bye bye.